your name? My name is Dwight Wallace. How are you related to me? I think I'm your great uncle. Okay. How old were you when this story happened? About 45. And where did this story take place? Uh, down here on, on Mulberry Creek in Chilton County. Okay, you can start your story. Well, I always like this time of year. It's uh, it's the fall of the year. You know, that's when weather turns cold and cool. And football season and and uh, you don't have to cut grass and you don't have to run the air conditioner. But best of all, it's deer hunting season. Hunt, hunting. And uh, I never was good when the rest of the season comes in, but I found out before regular season comes in, there's a bow season that you can go bow hunting. So I, I didn't have a bow. Now, when I was a kid, uh, me and your grandpa used to make us a little bow and arrow, bend over a persimmon tr uh, tree and, and tie strings around it and make us some arrows. And so I thought I was good at shooting a bow and arrow, you know. So I borrowed this bow and arrow from this friend of mine that works over here at the sawmill. So I went down on, on Mulberry Creek and it runs all the way from right near to Clanton to oh, all the way to the Alabama River. So I was going to sit there and kill me a deer with bow and arrow. And I sat there and I am not patient at all. I didn't see the first darn deer nowhere. All I seen was two old ducks. I call them die dappers. They just dap down in the water and get something and pop their heads back up. I watched them two die dappers all day long. I said, well, I don't know how much these arrows cost, but I'm going to risk one on that die dapper duck. I pulled. Those bow and arrows nowadays have got sights on them. They got wheels that turn. I put that arrow in there and I turned every wheel that I could turn. And I sighted at that first duck. And I let her go. <laughs> I'd rather be looking good. I hit that duck in the neck. Would you believe it? You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> and then, as luck would have it, the other duck come in sight, and it hit him in the neck. And then the thing uh, ricocheted down in the water and hit a 10-pound catfish and come up out of the water, and I hadn't seen it, but it pinned a six-point buck on the <laughs> other side of the bank. All in one shot. Well, I went and walked down the creek to find this log that goes across the creek so I could get over there. So I got over there and I got to pulling on that arrow because it stuck. I mean, I pulled every wheel. I mean, it, it stuck in that tree. And I pulled that arrow and it come out all of a sudden. And when it did, I sat down on this little rabbit. Half killed that rabbit. So I got him up by the hind legs and went to beating him. Got in a covey of quail and killed four quail while I was killing that rabbit. Well, I looked up and the tree that I'd hit with that arrow was a bee tree and I had to go plug the hole up and I come back later and got four quarts of honey out of that tree. Now, some people don't believe this story, uh, but if you don't believe it, I can show you the foot log that I walked that creek on to prove it. I mean, I mean, I mean that's proof enough, isn't it? <laughs>